Uh, all right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Office. It's been about a week since I've done a video. Uh, I've just been really slammed with real work. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you, it's kind of cool to take a little bit of break from it, a little bit of break from the norm, uh, the monotony of our current situation where we are going to have to fight for our rights. But in any case, I wanted to do a little bit of uh, a different type of video, one talking about uh, changing direction. And what does that mean? No, we're still going to be doing political stuff. But it means is that I was going to go back and, and do a uh, a DMR match over at the sawmill uh, down in South Carolina. Unfortunately, we just got a notification the other day that that uh, particular competition has been canceled, which opened the door to going back over to Carolina 3-Gun and uh, shooting uh, an adventure over there. Now, what I wanted to do real quickly just to... Uh, Tell you guys, man, I'm actually going to do something a little bit differently. So if you follow the channel, you know I've got that great big old cart. Uh, and i got to be honest with you, man, that thing's just its too big, too heavy, too bulky uh, to really, it just becomes a pain in the ass. It's nice to have all the table and uh, the chairs, the cooler, uh, the microwave, co coffee maker, a bunch of other stuff, uh, umbrella. But and on, on occasion, you really want to high speed, low drag this thing. So... And I'll go back to an event not too long ago uh, where we, a couple friends of mine, including X-Ring, uh, Isra 6 Cover was there, Mel was there. Uh, we also had uh, Rob, uh, oh my God, Pops Quest, he was there, and X-Ring, if I didn't say X-Ring. So anyway, we decided to go ahead and shoot this thing with... Uh, uh, iron sights only, which was a lot of fun. There's not a really a big area where you have to reach out and uh, touch something out there at uh, Sand Hills. It was actually where it was located. But one of the cool things is, is that uh, my good uh, friend X-Ring actually had the new Voodoo Tactical uh, three gun bag, which I was really interested in taking a look at. So after I did take a look at it, I was like, well, that's it. I am buying that bag. And the cool thing about this bag is it'll fit your shotgun, all your ammo, uh, rifle, pistol magazines the whole kit and caboodle and it has nice shoulder harness so you know in between the stages instead of you know carting a cart across the whole thing he just put a backpack on boom and we went and i thought that was really cool so uh i was thinking to myself self it would be really neat to just kind of go ahead and let's do something new so i'm going to instead of use that cart i'm going to rig that bag up with a uh, uh a water bladder uh, and a tube, and then we're going to, it's going to be a really cool little deal. I'm hoping that this doesn't weigh too much. Uh, sand, not sand hills, but uh, Carolina 3 gun, we're going to probably run five, maybe even six stages. Uh, but it's going to be nice to not have to haul that big ass thing around. Now, the only thing you're going to have to maybe take consideration is, is shotgun ammo is going to get heavy because usually that those are shotgun heavy stages out there. So I've actually gone through 100, 150 uh, shotgun rounds. Which leads me into the next whole thing about shooting in competition, period. Uh, one of the big things is, is um, ammunition. And it's uh, one of those deals, man. I'm probably going to be, uh, I think probably this will be one of the closest or the two. I'm not going to be able to shoot three gun the way I used to because, well, ammunition is not easily to come by as it was. Um, just now, I uh, picked up, I had delivered, this is, uh, I had 2,000 bullets delivered from Everglades. These 124 grain round nose. And uh, I've got some Acme bullets over there. We've got some Hornady coming. I've got a bunch of other stuff coming, but more along for the uh, 77 grain, 75 grain, 69 grain, that kind of thing. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of 55 grain stowed away that I won't touch. You know, that's the rainy day stuff. And I'm not going to delve into it. And that's the hard part also is because when we do stuff, we shoot for uh, competition. All right, so what else is new about this one? This new, new competition, as I was looking through this thing, I saw a bunch, a new division called TAC, uh, no, Carry Optics. And I'm like, what in the, whoa, 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 Carry Optics and 3-Gun, what the hell does that mean? Well, I can only assume that that means that you can utilize a uh, pistol with a red dot on it and this is the guy that I am probably going to go ahead and use and I'm just going to leave it in this configuration right here this is the SIG uh, Legion X5 
uh, with the gray guns trigger in it or the uh, Leopold um, Delta Point Pro on it and a kickstand over here. Guys, this is an amazing pistol. Now, here's the only issue. it They may be calling for some rain. So, that's a downfall when you're using one of these guys right here, but not, not really so much. Uh, but I think that's the only stipulation with the carry optics is that you're going to be running an optic on your pistol. You're still going to use a magnified uh, 1 to 6, 1 to 8, maybe even 1 to 10 variable on your rifle, and a shotgun is just going to be what it is. Uh, but so anyway, really excited about that because, believe it or not, where are you? My pistol that I normally shoot uh, three gun with, the beautiful Atlas Titan, I was picking it up the other night and noticed that my front sight post well, she's sliding back and forth on this thing. So we're going to have to get that taken care of before I can actually shoot this guy. But I'm so accustomed to shooting with this. Uh, also, I'm used to shooting with uh, corrected vision. So I wear those, uh, these guys right here. These are the LVEX, and these are 1.0s. And this is what I normally would wear uh, on the shooting with an open sights on a pistol because, well, I can't see shit anyway. However, with the red dot... I I don't need glasses. I can just pop, 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 and go across there. So there's an advantage in that I can go ahead and wear some uh, of the Oakleys that I love to wear. So I guess put this guy back in here. Okay, yeah. So anyway, also another thing is that um, one of these days I'm going to do a review on this. This is a, uh, a holster system from RTS, I believe. Uh, not Red Hill, but our, another company out of North Carolina. And they, if you're looking for a tactical holster for the Legion X5 with all the bells and whistles on it with a level 3 or level 2 retention, this guy makes them. And this thing snaps right in there, and there you go. And it's, the only thing is, is I do like the uh, trigger mechanism on the... Uh, hold on. I'll show it to you. This is a G-code right here, but G-code does not make a holster uh, set up like this for my configuration. But I do like the, the system better. And, and we'll do a, a um, an actual review and maybe even a comparison between these two. A lot heavier material, uh, but this one right here is very nice. Now, I, I am using this guy right here. We're going to go from wearing a safari lamb belt. I know you guys have probably seen this before, but in any case... The cool thing is, is you can have your pistol holstered and you can leave it in there and slide it into this guy right here and lock it into place and it's not going to go anywhere. When you want to get your pistol out uh, or off your body, you don't have to worry about having to go to a safe table or anything. Three gun, three gun big boy rules, you just take it off like that and you can set it as long as you don't pull that thing out of the holster. Uh, and I'll have to do a review on this belt because I absolutely love it. It does have the, the uh, hook system on the inside. It works in conjunction with the uh, the inner belt, which is all the, the loop stuff. Um, so anyway, where's my glasses? I can't see. Yeah, we're, we've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got a couple more tripods that we're going to be doing reviews on. Uh, I am going to be doing the, the pandemic build and the steal the deal election series um, I've got to clean my three gun rifle which I pulled out just a few minutes ago just because I haven't touched it in several days time to start doing a little bit of dry firing become a little bit more familiar with that thing um, also we're gonna be going back and doing some more stuff with the uh, bolt carrier groups now let's check this out man this is uh, from brown nails I bought this guy because with the pandemic build uh, yeah you don't always get or the parts aren't always available. So you've got to deal with what you have. So I actually have a couple bolt carriers that were sent to the uh, channel by Cali Key, and I am going to actually replace, I've got one Cali Key that's going to remain functional. I got to do a, a review on that, but we're going to put new gas keys on it. We're going to seal them up, uh, and then I'm going to show you guys how to properly stake the uh, gas key screws by using this guy right here. I think out the door she was about. 80 bucks, and I know that's a lot of money to spend on a block of steel. 
but you know what you really want to get learn how to do it learn how to do it right so this is one of the things we're going to do what else have we got to talk to you about um we've got the 65 uh creedmoor bill i am waiting on a barrel to come in from the guys down there at hitman uh, industries as soon as that gets in here we're gonna go ahead and put that guy together uh, we've also we're gonna mount an Apollo reticle uh, GLX from primary arms on top of that thing take it out one of the things I do have is a lot of 6.5 Creedmoor <laughs> but anyway that's it guys um, the world around us is falling apart and our Constitution and our democracy uh, a republic uh, the democratic means of electing an official are losing its grounds on an hourly basis right now. And these jackasses are laughing their asses all the way to the bank. All right, so yeah, I had to pretty much sit back for a little bit, gather my thoughts, spend some time with family, relax, and uh, let's figure out what our next steps are moving down the road. If you ever notice that, uh, and one of the things I want to do is a video coming up on uh, YouTube and uh, the other mainstream media is that if somebody does something that's not in alignment with the norm or their push, they always put the disclaimers down at the bottom. Like the, the AP has already called the race for that guy called Biden. I'm just absolute bullshit. It's not done yet. And those guys got to quit pushing that agenda, man, because it's going to bite them in the ass at the end of the day. It's Cuddleboy32. You guys, I appreciate everybody. Thanks for the Patreon guys for sticking with us. I know I'm boring as hell. I don't bring a whole lot to the table re recently, but we're getting ready to. But uh, with that being said, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. And I'm talking about those men and women in uniform who are going to fight for our constitutional rights as was written by our founding fathers. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And that's it. I am out of here. Y'all be good.